Hey there, fellow coders. Welcome back to the channel. Let's talk about object-oriented programming, specifically about classes and objects. You will see how a class is defined and how to create an object in one of the first object-oriented languages out there, C++. If you've ever been curious about how to bring your code to life by modeling real-world objects, you're in the right place. Okay, let's get started. In this video, we'll explore the class, one of the most fundamental concepts related to object orientation. Let's dive in with an example that will make it easy to grasp. We've got a simple class called car. A class in C++ is like a blueprint, just like a blueprint for a house. Here, car is our blueprint. We have two attributes, car color and car speed. These are like the properties of our car, something that defines what it is. Then we have the constructor. This part is what helps us create a car with specific characteristics, like its color and how fast it goes. Next, we have a method called accelerate. Think of this as a behavior our car can perform. You hit the gas pedal and the car speeds up. This method is a way to describe that behavior for any car we create using this class. Remember, the class is the blueprint, so this class is not an actual car, but the blueprint of a car. Alright, so we have a class, but it's still just a blueprint. Let's make an actual car, an object, based on this class. Car, and I'll call it my car, and initialize it with the color, say, red and the initial velocity should be zero. Next, I call the cars accelerate method. And let's increase its velocity by 20 kilometers per hour. So we've created an object called my car from our car class. Notice how I am passing red and zero as arguments to the constructor. That's how we set the initial color to red and the speed to zero. I could change that to blue or black or any other string I want. After that, we call my car accelerate 20, which will increase the car speed by 20 kilometers per hour and print out the new speed. When you call this method, it's like pressing the gas pedal. The car speeds up. So just like that, we've got a red car speeding up on our command. Classes help us define what an object should be like and then we use that class to create actual instances or objects that can interact in our code. And that's a wrap. We've explored how classes in C++ act as blueprints to create real-world models in our code. Once you understand these concepts, you can apply them in any other programming language. I used C++ because it's one of the very first programming languages that are truly object-oriented. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone who might benefit. By the way, I will soon release another video on a controversial topic, namely how Scrum broke Agile. Drop a comment below if you have questions or topics you'd like me to cover next. Until next time.